Let me guess. Guardians part five. Let us walk cross on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. So yeah, Guardians part five. They talk a lot. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people. I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? Fucking invisible walls. I just heard that she's fair but terrifying. Make of that what you will. It suggests we have some room to haggle. Unless you decide to kill us. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? There's usually some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Lady Hellbender is an astute buyer. Either she will want to clear a selling or she will not. I'm with Gamora on this one. Looking the part, it's half the battle. Thank you, Visor. I don't know if I would have figured that shit out. I sure hope that bloodless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. Should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously bruised. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. You think it died of excessive bruising? I bruised it as well. There's a common monster hunter uniform. Like, are they organized, or maybe even just a style? They adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of the prey. Yeah, I'm not putting it Although I do like skulls. The garments would be full of holes and shredded by the beasts that they hunt. Well, if that was what was already. Take your word for it, bud. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is like supercharged with plants. Give him a little bit of a buzz just walking on it. Oh. Weather and lethal predators force every Katapia to fight for survival. That's why you respect Lady Hellbender so much. She survived a place like this. And conquered it.
You know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. I do have augmented intelligence. What is 55 million 787,880 divided by 9,512? 5,863. Give or take. We've got a glitchy calculation if it's always off by two. What is four plus two? Four. <laughs> what is two plus four? Eight. <laughs> and he's our engineer. I damn sure don't know where to go. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. Well, there it is. It's <clears> deep, <throat> promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbing the fragrance. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Spooky shit. Okay, that got my blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really monster gotta food. Your taste, the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. The more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Yeah, well, that'll do it.
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Come to me, peace. <laughs> you are coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Yeah, way worse than usual. I swear, Quill, that's the last time I follow you through rock poop. <laughs> Fungus poop. Whatever. The point is, we stink. That thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. You stole them. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. Uh, Technarth ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Technarth 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. That can't be true. That's kind of dope looking. He's supposed to be a monster, right? So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Egg? We're gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? <laughs> yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. It ain't. What did the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. Whoa, that is definitely my top ten fortresses. Wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. 
Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we've been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Let's just get this done. I can appreciate the banter in between traversal. Infinity Bridge is what it is. Oh, are you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Groot? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark and things looking like they mean business. Groot. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. This is kind of dope. Something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure 0 0.1 clicks, 0 0.2 clicks, 0 0.9. 2.1 0 0.3 clicks 4.5 <laughs> 0 0.4 clicks 0 0.5 clicks 0 0.6 clicks For the love of the Lord Stop counting clicks This <laughs> shit's way. Oh, this shit's crazy. You don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. Yeah, I remember asking what happened with the cake. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. 
Right. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, and I'm so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Fucking Pac-Man cake. Classic. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling Mom. off. Mom. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff, or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. 
Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Fucking dog's name is Kubrick. Hell yeah. The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No! Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. Boring. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. How are you getting to the movie? Andy said his older brother would give us a ride. Make sure he brings you back, too. Good boy. All right, great game. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Yeah, I feel you on that one, man. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. 
Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill, perfect game. Not bad. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Trust me, Rocket? With proof? Clark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woolberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but... Just for everyone else, can you Dark explain coming. that again? Uh, After we sell Groot, we sneak yes, back in and use my tracking out. device to find him and bust him out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got an elder name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance of the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen a Warthos tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! All right, Gamora, looks like you're up. Makes sense. What? Like Scott she is. Look, Rocket, let's compromise. We'll use your tracker, but we'll all go. Fine, whatever. The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy of old. Woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. 
Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. Did that fucking guy just dab? I know what you mean. Do not blame me for You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara. It's the fucking Pac-Man. Doubt its authenticity. If it is what you say it is. Prove it, or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. Got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. <laughs> Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon you must be a skillful warrior. <laughs> Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. 
also. It was the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean, no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. 15,000. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. 12,000 for the Flora Colossus, then. 12,000 is not Not enough. that bad for a Flora... whatever. Deal. 12,000 units it is. Payday. The storms of Seknoth grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. Flirting with a Sicknarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean that our threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save you, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, it doesn't rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing Scuddy father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Ah, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. I gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. We perform feats of virility and are judged worthy or not. That how you ended up with your wife? Uvat was the most proficient killer in the village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. Alright, I'm gonna wrap that right here because the dog needs some attention. Until next time.